I am rested, I am worked out, and it is not even morning because I slept in. It's true. Quentin is not in the house right now. <laughs> uh, we kind of forgot to mention on Friday that he is spending most of this week with my parents and my brother. Uh, this, since the spray foam guy is supposed to be coming in at some time this week, we have to be out of the house for 24 hours. So we thought it would be really perfect timing for him to go spend a few days with my parents, mostly because we all need a break. And I think he and I need a little bit of a break from each other, just from being down here all summer. Both of us are going stir crazy. So he is currently having the time of his life at my parents' place as they are also dog sitting my niece's teeny tiny little terrier. The thing is tinier than Quentin. And we're already getting video and photos and Quentin is just in heaven with this dog right now. So he is there. I slept until 9 a.m. this morning and Alan slept until quarter to one because he had to work late last night. So, but he had, he has a work meeting at two in like a half an hour. So he had to get up, showered, out the door right away. But even he woke up saying he felt really good. Even though he, had, he was rushing around, he felt really good. We all just needed some sleep. I still woke up at my normal time, but it was just nice to be able to crawl out of bed when I wanted to and not when somebody was crying at me. <laughs> so anyway. I've just been getting some work done. I'm going to grab a little bit of something to eat and then I am heading out of the house just cause I can. And that is really exciting. That to me for the rest of this week is going to be what I have planned is to do a lot of work outside the house and just to get outdoors. We still don't know when the spray foam guy is coming. We're supposed to be getting two to three days notice. It's already Monday, which means even if we get a call today, he wouldn't be coming till Wednesday or Thursday. So, at this point, Quentin's supposed to come back on Thursday, but if the spray foam guy comes on Thursday, I don't know. Either he comes back and stays with us. Well, see, Alan and I want to get a hotel uh, for the night, and uh, Donna's going to keep Job in her room for us, so we, he, he's probably just going to stay over at my parents for a while, uh, for another day again. Anyway, we'll come to that bridge when we cross it. At this point, it is day one, and we are both feeling amazing. And I know Quentin is feeling amazing because he gets a little puppy to play with all week. And it's awesome. So I'm going to go rustle up some lunch. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Teresa already did an intro, but I want to do an intro too. Welcome to what I like to think of as the second season. It oh, is! I didn't show. even mention it! Yeah. I forgot! Welcome to year two! Woo! We did it! We did! You all said we couldn't. <laughs> no way, you're all really supportive. Um, but we took your notes. Uh, we dropped a cast member. It's just <laughs> Teresa and I now. <laughs> or maybe he's at his grandparents. I'll let you decide. You figure it out. We're at the CNE, or the Canadian National Exhibition to its friends. And uh, yeah, come with us. Let's take a look around the exhibition. Important staple of the CNE, ask any Torontonian. Tiny Tom Donuts. They're tiny. I saved the last one for you, Internet. You know about Chuck E. Cheese, right? Oh, yeah. Well, do you know about his uh, more challenged cousin? <laughs> <laughs> He's got some emotional issues. 
So, bit of weirdness. My dad and uh, stepmom are here at the CNE. We ran into them just middle of the intersection back there, and they're coming to to see what we're about to see and what you're about to see. So stay tuned. Now this video is going to be flagged. Sort of magic device. Take the picture. He's a three-time Juno Award winner who's just signed a book publication deal with Random House Penguin Publication and will be back here in Toronto on August 1st at the Harborfront Theatre. Please give a warm welcome to Lee Harvey Osman. Those are ice cream cones. You're not ice cream cones. You watch middle of the show. Ice cream break. <laughs> fun day good way to start a new season hope you liked it has anyone else been to the X this year or uh, is there anything we missed we didn't go on any rides um, we started the day late so it was kind of just a, a shop around uh, grab some tiny Tom donuts and uh, head to the band shell kind of weird that my dad and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, his wife were there um, was not expecting that. I think it was a lackluster reaction because I was just so confused. They, they stopped Therese first and I'm like, oh, maybe it's somebody Therese knows. And I look over and I'm like, my brain took a while. You know when someone's out of, out of the element and you're not expecting to see someone, it just takes you a minute? At least for me, maybe my brain's a little slower than everybody else. I'm like, hey. <laughs> um, so I think they were a, a little concerned that they were infringing on some kind of... Uh, date night extravaganza we're having I'm like no no we're just we're here to see the show too um kind of cool they went out for uh for a night on the town and to see a show though mm -hmm. it's great and it was great to see them um yeah so thanks for watching and comment like subscribe dance to big bad voodoo daddy while you're listening to it and we'll see you next time see ya bye